Hey everybody, welcome back. I am so glad that you could join me today. I'm going to show you my finished, what almost all of you guessed correctly, my raccoon bag. If you watched yesterday's video, I said, no, it's not a cat, which I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave it where it was. No, it was not a kitty cat. Um, it was a raccoon. So we're going to start with the back side of the project, which just looks plain and boring, just like you seen it yesterday. The reason this is the back and the reason it has the ridge right there and not anywhere else is because I was doing it in the round and because of the, <coughs> pardon me, qualification, not qualifications, the uh, stitching for the ears, which these are ears, it needed to have a stopping and starting spot. That's why I started doing you know, uh, joining and chaining one to finish it. Otherwise, there is no ridge. And if I make another one of these, which I do plan on making the other two patterns that came with this, it's pretty much exactly the same, only different color and different facial features. But um, I might try to do it completely in the round and see how that works out. But anyway, another thing that I did, if you remember from yesterday's video, is I was going under one over one under one I did not like the way that closed so I went ahead and went under two over two I do like the way that closes a whole lot better however it does need to be tied which most people are going to tie their bags anyway to keep all the contents safely inside so that's not that big of a deal I am not going to tie the ends of this together that way it can be tied like in a bow or something like that and keep it secure so now that we have accomplished that let's open it back up i will show you the inside of the project there are no tails no seams no nothing you can see here's the back where i did the join yeah no nothing did a good job all right now for the front reveal <laughs> of this project i'm gonna tell you guys this little critter is so absolutely adorable. I am in love with it. I love it so much. It just, I can't imagine that I made something so cute. So here we go. <laughs> what do y'all think? <laughs> that little grin, that sideways grin. Yeah. So for the eyes, you guys seen just the crocheted parts last night or in yesterday's video. I actually made that last night. Tonight, or in today's video that you're seeing, I went ahead and I put, instead of doing the French knots for the eyes, I went ahead and put googly eyes on there. So much cuter, I think, than the French knots. I do not like doing French knots. And I would be afraid that they would not actually stay appropriately on the project. I also used a little uh, safety nose for the nose instead of doing the French knot for the nose, like the pattern recommended. And then I used some yarn and made the little mouth, which it's off, but he's got a little sideways grin going. So with the safety nose, it does not poke through. As you can see, it's right there. There is no poking through. You can't even feel it and tell that it's there. What I did was I put the uh, backside on the nose and then I, I snipped the post down so it was pretty much even with the back side of the, what I call it, the little clippy thingy that you hold it together with. I lost my train of thought. But I took some hot glue and I put inside of that to secure that and make sure that it stayed in place so that it didn't come off. And then, of course, I hot glued the eyes on. And I also, you notice you didn't see any stitching on the inside. That's because I hot glued the uh, pieces to the front of the bag. And I think they will hold pretty good. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. I do believe it will be pretty sturdy and quite usable. So here's the moment of truth. This is what it looks like with it closed. I think that looks much better than with going under one, over one, under one. I think he is absolutely adorable. So there you have it. Here is my raccoon dice bag that I made. I do plan on making the other two 
which this is, I guess you would call it a paid for pattern. It is from the, uh, let me look real quick here, Crochet Today, um, which I am able to access this via my local library through the Flipster app. Uh, this would be the August of 2022. It's actually Crochet World Magazine. And I'm just going to hold this up for you guys so that you can see all three of these. Hopefully it'll work. If not, I will insert a picture. Yeah, there you can see it. So that's what all three of them look like. Like I said, I do plan on doing the other two as well. I just don't know how soon that I will be doing them because there are other projects that I would like to do. And besides, I am still struggling to get those final four hats completed. I have one that is almost, actually there's three. I have one that is almost done. I've got about two more inches left on the body of the hat and then I can start the brim. And then I need to make two more hats. I am really struggling on this, guys. I am so tired of making hats. But I've only got three to go. I can do this. I can get it done. So that's why I am kind of inserting a few other fun projects instead of just doing nonstop hat because I think I need a little bit more of a break and then I will plow on through and get them done and we will have our final countdown video of my 100 hats. So I want to thank you guys for joining me and I will see you right back here for my next video.